Hi everyone, uh, welcome to CSC 532, uh, the design and analysis of algorithms 1. And by the way, uh, we do have a design and analysis of algorithms 2, but we haven't offered that for a couple of semesters, okay, in case you're interested. And this is our first class, and I'm going to give you a lot of information. And before I give you the information about this course, I want to tell a little bit about me, myself. Uh, and uh, as you may know, my name is Yang Sang. Okay, well, you, you, you really, people usually call me Sang, but uh, to be correct, my name is Song. But if you want to call me Dr. Sang or Mr. Sang, I'm perfectly fine with that. Okay, and I'm an assistant professor in the computer science department. Uh, I, uh, my main research interest in, is in machine learning and data mining, and I do a bunch of the cool applications in uh, the mental health and uh, marine science and education plus robotics. Okay, so if you're interested in doing data science or machine learning, uh, well, feel free to talk to me. And uh, in addition, I also do some web development. Uh, it's not my research area, but I just want to do that for fun. And especially if you want to uh, find some real world projects, real uh, open source projects, and you can talk to me as well. Okay, so well, what else? Uh, uh, I'm a fisherman. Well, uh, this is one of the uh, one of the way that I want to. I can relax myself. I can go fishing. Uh, well, I, I usually go to fishing piers. I don't. Uh, I, I don't rent a boat and go to the open ocean. Uh, and what else? Uh, I play video games. And yes, uh, well, I I play the League of Legends. I play PUBG. And uh, in in most the most recent game I started playing is uh, Total War Three Kingdoms. Okay, well, uh, I am bad on all the games I play, but well, I just want to play some games for fun. Okay, so what else? Probably that's it. Okay, and uh, let's talk about this course. So for this course, the purpose of this course is we want to do a rigorous introduction of the design and, and, and analysis of algorithms. So this is not a uh, coding lab course, and this is not a math course either. And however, through this semester, you may feel a little bit of both. Okay, so well for the code, it's even it's though it's not a coding lab, and I'm gonna give you some uh, algorithm, and I'm gonna challenge you guys to code algorithms from scratch or from a pseudocode. And well, even though this is not a math course, but we do need to have some theoretical proof done to uh, to do a very serious analysis of the complexity of algorithms. So, well, through this semester, you may feel, and we, we, we talk a lot about coding, we also talk a lot about the math, but still, this is an algorithm course. Well, why do we do that? Because this is an algorithm for the graduate level, okay? And for the textbook, our textbook is the introduction to algorithms uh, uh, by Gorman and a couple of other people. And I, I, I have this book, but it, it is at home. Uh, well, this is a huge white book. So, well, you, people usually call that the big white book. And this is the excellent reference. But I want to be honest with you guys, and this is a hard book to read. Well, this is probably the most famous book uh, about algorithms, but well, reading this book can be tough. Well, does that mean you don't have to read the book? No, you do. Okay, well, in Instructure, you know me, and this is my email, and uh, this is my office. Uh, well, my office is in Condon Hall, and in case you don't know, what, where is Condon Hall? It was the CIS building two years ago, but now it has been changed the name to Condon Hall. And my office hour uh, will be, oops, sorry for the typo. Well, my office server should be one to two, uh, one to two Mondays and Thursdays. And if you want to come to my uh, to my office, and yes, my office is open. I will sit in my office. Or if you want to feel uh, you want you feel that uh, I, I'm not so comfortable with seeing another guy face to face, that's okay. Well, I'm also hosting the office hour online as well. And from the syllabus, you will be able to see uh, the Zoom link. So, well, uh, when I'm holding my office hour, I'm sitting here in my office and I also have my Zoom meeting open. So you can stop by in person or you can just jump in to the Zoom meeting. Okay, and for the grading policy, 
we have homeworks uh, and exam one, exam two, two, two midterms and plus the final. Okay, and then uh, for the homework and there uh, there could be two different types. One is well the theoretical ones that. Uh, one is a theoretical one that I'm going to challenge you to prove something or to solve a problem and, and, and you can do that by hand, but I will require you, require you guys to type your solution to make, the, uh, to make the grading easier. And another type will be the programming. So I'm going to challenge you to code something and then you just turn in your program. Okay, so uh, well, and that's what I want to say. Oh, and for the uh, for the exams, and all the exams will be take home online. Okay, so well, uh, uh, when the exam opens, I'm gonna release a PDF file with all the questions, and you have to do all the questions. You have to type in your answers, and then you want to submit a PDF to the Canvas system. Okay, and for the prerequisites, and you need to have the CSD 231, 331, or MIS 316, or a CSC 500. So if you have one of those courses, then you should be you're you're qualified to get into my course. And otherwise, well, I know I have been offering some overrides, and today I'm going to go through a lot of things very quick. And if you feel you are okay with those prerequisites knowledge. And then you should be good to go, even though you don't have those courses. And if you, you feel, okay, today's course is super easy and then you're good to go. And well, and for the format, we are doing uh, two lectures per week. And then well, uh, for most of the weeks, and I'm going to keep you guys busy and I'm going to give you homework to do. And remember, we have two midterms and one final exam. Okay. Well, uh, about algorithms, why algorithms are so important? Well, the reason is, well, the companies are asking questions about algorithms when you're doing the job interviews. And some of the algorithms are not easy. Uh, well, people ask me, why do those companies require us th those hard algorithms, even though we ain't going to use that? Uh, well, my answer is, well, that's true. Well, uh, for a lot of the hard, code, uh, hard algorithm questions you got asked during the interview, and probably you don't use that every day, and probably on, you only, only use them uh, once every two, three years. However, they want to make sure that people have a solid understanding about algorithm, about what goes behind the scene when you are doing a, a complicated task. Uh, well, and let me let me give you some examples. Say if you have a singly linked list, and how do you reverse everything? Well, number one, you have to know what is a linked list, and number two, you have to understand how the operations can be done on the single linked list, and number three, you have to figure out an algorithm to reverse everything. So. This is just one sentence, but I would say this question is not easy. It's not super hard, but that's not an easy one. Well, the next one, given a list of the 1 million values, how would you find the middle 5 values? Hmm, 1 million values, and we want to find the middle 5. From low to high, we only care about the middle 5. Well, there's an easy solution, right? You can sort out the values. But the problem is, if you want to sort out 1 million values, then you're going to spend a lot of time. Is there any smarter way to do that? Well, later in this course, we are going to, later in this course, probably as we are approaching the midterm one, we are going to talk about this. Well, and the next one, given a tree structure, how do you count the number of the leaves? Okay, so you are expected to know the tree structure. And then how do you come up with a good solution? If in your head, in your brain, a one one word pops up, recursion. Okay, you are good. Well, otherwise, and there are also other solutions available, but recursion is the way to go. And, well, can you, pro uh, can you provide the optimal solution? Or you, are you able to prove that your solution is the best one? And then how do you evaluate your algorithms? So, well, those, uh, those contents packed together, that is an algorithm question you're going to see when you're doing the technical interviews. Well, and they are trying to, well, for those companies, they're trying to uh, make sure that uh, you have the solid understanding about, about algorithms and make sure that you are smart enough. Well, 
So that's the main reason we have to learn our reason because, well, <laughs> when you are going out for the job interviews, they are going to ask you questions like that. Okay, so well, the next question you may ha you may have is how do I master this material? Uh, well, the number one, well, I have a high expectation about your Python skill. Well, you have to review your Python and the this, this structure. Well, and if you have an, a big problem with the basic Python coding, and probably you are not quite prepared for this course yet. Okay, and number two, you want to read the book. Well, as I said, the, the book is not so fun to read. However, well, this is a really helpful book. Well, if you really want to do a, a deep dive and you want to read a chapter from the beginning to the end, and then you can really learn a lot. Well, and you may ask me, uh, do I really have to read a chapter from the beginning to the end? The answer is no. Well, uh, I will, uh, from time to time, I will tell you uh, for this code, for this, uh, the, for the explanation about this question, you have to go to that section and you want to read this, this section. Okay, well, and another thing is we are not going to cover the whole book. That big white book, that is huge and we ain't, we ain't going to be able to cover everything. Well, and the number three, well, you should be able to trace out an algorithm on, uh, on a paper or the whiteboard. Well, I understand that, well, uh, usually we want to just uh, do the coding and then we run, uh, we run this and then we will see what, what are the output. Well, but to have a better understanding of the algorithm, sometimes and if you only have a, uh, if you only have a piece of, a uh, piece of paper and a pen, it works even better because, well, it forces you to think like a computer. Well, you have to trace the algorithm carefully one step after another, and then if you, this will help you have a better understanding about the algorithms. Well, the number four, you do have to write programs. Well, I have seen uh, some, uh, some algorithm courses uh, uh, done by other institutions, and they, uh, it is a 100% pencil and paper algorithm course. You don't have to write any code. Well, in my opinion, that's not right. And you should be able to uh, work out algorithms on piece of papers, plus code them to see if they really work. You should be able to do both. Okay, well, uh, for, uh, for the coding exams or for, uh, for, for the coding assignments or for any of the assignments, well, make sure that you turn in the assignments on time and uh, you, you can decide if you want to work independently or you want to have one partner, okay? Well, you can work in pairs. Well, and only one list submission will be accepted in this course. So, well, uh, if you miss, make a mistake and then you submit late and I will say, okay, but your on, uh, your only one late submission, late submission allowance will be used. And the next time, if you turn in another homework late, I will say, no, you have zero allowance of the late submission. So the next one, I'm not taking that. Okay, well, and, uh, and the, the last thing, make use of my office hours. Well, if you have questions, then you can send me emails or you can just jump into my, uh, to my office hours. However, uh, if, say uh, the homework uh, the homework is due tomorrow and today 11 p.m you send me an email and say hey professor i need some help uh probably that will be too late okay so well uh for some of the homework questions and they are not easy so make sure you start early to make sure you have enough time especially if you have if you have questions and you want to plan on when you ask a uh, you, when you come to my office hours to ask the questions, and for my office hours, you can both come in in person or you can uh, jump into the Zoom online. Okay, so well, the next part I'm going to talk about the syllabus.